Okay, this is like a super easy way to get a game set up that has kind of like a multi-area walkthrough. And you only need one scene and you don't need global variables or anything like that. You can still do animation to trigger these scene changes. But again, we're only going to use one scene. Okay, so I kind of gave the demo of how this is going to work and I'll show you how you can do all of this in one scene and not require switching scenes or global variables or anything like that. Okay, so the first thing you can do is you can take your basic sprite and you can always do the standard thing where you um, create multiple animations and based on what button you click, you just change the animation on top of the sprite, changing the background. Um, it's kind of a pain because each time you change the scene, you need to keep track of where all the hotspots are. All these little feet, or if you're walking a character, you need to know where to place all these things. And keeping that in an array with um, coordinates is kind of a pain. So I needed to make something super quick um, for a project I was working on. And um, I figured to try something different and I came across this idea by not doing it this way but putting all the scenes in separate sprites in one giant piece so I'll show you kind of how easy this is to work um, we have that scene where we walk from the office into this little lab room and real quick I'll show you that what we're gonna recreate so we kind of come into this office and then we turn around and we walk out. We're gonna place a little dude in here and show how this works. So this is the room we're looking at and I kinda of created a dummy variable. Little guy here, little sprite. I called him Yo. So let's kinda of drag him over here and we're gonna target another scene. Um, say, say if we click this guy, we wanna to go to this guy's office. guy's office and he's called Ellen 2 I think you know where I'm going with this anyway okay we're gonna go to our events events for the entire game we're gonna conditional we click on yo and I don't know what it's called you just type mouse Whoa, spell okay this isn't good enough because it's if you just roll over it'll trigger it so we need to add one more thing on top of this okay, I can't spell today and when the mouse button is released and it's our left mouse button now it's going to look after the mouse is on top of the guy and when we click it Right. So all we want to do is jump to our new scene. We add an action. And now the trick is if you just type camera, we're going to center the camera on an object, which is that one sprite. And we already know what, what it was called. We want to call it, we, call, we found that one scene, Allen 2. And that's it. Let's go back, run our game. If you can call it that. So you go in this office, back out. This is this office, around the corner. There's our guy, and we should jump to that office right away. And that's it. So hopefully just give you an idea of simplifying something. If you wanna make a big adventure game, you plop everything in here. Um, it's pretty fast loading, doesn't seem to add any overhead, and seems to work pretty seamlessly. Okay, hope this helps. Bye.